Live along Mobile Bay or drive across the bay. You might have noticed an unusual amount of seagrass taking over. People who have lived here say they've never seen it this way, at least not in the last 20 years or so. NBC 15's James Gordon is live with more. James, what type of grass is growing in the bay? Well, it's called the southern wild rice plant, and it's taking over fast. Now, people who live along the bay see the rice plant has been growing out of control. It's the Mobile Bay everybody loves, and now it's being taken over. I mean, this is all naturally occurring. Uh, southern wild rice is a native plant, and it could be just that, that conditions are, are, are such that it's really pro proliferated this year. Christian Miller is with the Mobile Bay National Estuary Program. His group has been working to improve how stormwater runoff from new construction makes its way to the bay. He says that same runoff, along with several very active hurricane seasons, may have likely led to the growth and spread of what we see here, the southern wild rice plant. Uh, you know, looking at the growth that's occurred in this one year, it does give me concern for the next two or three years that this uh, Dolly Bay, which is a historic bay, uh, you know, over time what it's going to look like. Joel Coleman lives here. He's also on the Daphne City Council. Coleman says he and his neighbors are concerned the plant is taking over, making it unsightly and limiting their access to the water. He's speaking out because he wants people to notice and be aware. Grass, it's grown in from both shorelines, the shoreline on this side and from that island. And the grass has come from that island inward, from this shoreline outward, and uh, the bay surface area looks like it's decreased by about 50 percent over this year. Scientists at the Dolphin Island Sea Lab say the plant is not invasive and it will die back in the winter. Is it here to stay? They don't know. But scientists point to the diversity of the delta, saying the plants will bring more fish, stop shoreline erosion, and limit storm surge. When the next storm heads our way. Meantime, scientists at the Sea Lab tell me they are not sure if this part of the Delta, if it's part of the Delta's natural cycle right now. They will be doing an investigative fly over the bay later this year to take a look at what's going on from the, uh, the north to the south of the bay just to make sure and take a look at issues like sediment buildup, which they say is likely the cause for the growth of this plant. For now, we're live along the bay. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.